Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard and I hope you're doing well today. Um, today's kind of a little bit of a different video. Um, soon we'll be doing our uh, over a thousand subscriber giveaway and um, actually going to do three prizes for that I think because um, I've got some goodies I'm stashing aside and um, we're going to have a drawing for that so make sure you're a subscriber to my channel so that you can get in on that giveaway that will be coming soon. It's just kind of show you what I've been working on. Maybe if there's a particular thing you'd like to see a next. I kind of sometimes I get I'm always ahead with my videoing and and I get ahead uh, just because things life happens you know and I don't I'm not a last minute kind of a girl so so then I get working on so many projects I don't really know what to do next to do for my video because sometimes I video the project as I'm doing it and sometimes I do them ahead and then reproduce them for you guys so I just want to show you some things I'm I'm looking at here and also uh, kind of a review on a product that I got recently in a haul that I think would be up by now double check me on that but um, anyway here are some things with the new Stampin Up celebration of course we've got lots of great stuff going on there great stamp sets that are free for every fifty dollars you order you get to pick uh, something free from the little celebration catalog and there's some really cute things for example um, this little treat truck and um, yeah, uh, if you watch my Stampin' Up! haul that I have the most recent one, you'll be able to see all the things I got from Celebration. But take a look at some of these things. Um, they're actually all Stampin' Up! here, these first four cards, and then I'll show you why I've got this Alton Brown cookbook here. But um, So first one is a shaker card with some Dollar Tree or actually it's Walmart uh, shaker bits in there. This is Love is in the Air and uh, this is Washi Tape behind here and I used the Stampin' Up! Um, sort of makes a hexagonal box that die set and uh, I use the heart one to kind of make a little shaker window and some more washi so we have that one um, we have this with the um, carousel birthday stamp set and I took the celebration lace set that you can get and I made little clouds with one of the lace um, dies so I have that one with some uh, spotted on the watercolor background here so that was fun and I used my um, little uh, Sakura gel uh, oh my brain, my brain I told you I have a headache um, <laughs> is shining there if you can see what I mean um, like that so there's that one which is a pretty quick and easy one but it's kind of fun with the make your own clouds there. We have this t-shirt one hanging on a clothesline and it says congrats. It's our tie-dyed stamp and it's got these great background uh, stamps there. So that's kind of fun and good for a guy guy card. And then we have um, the one I just showed you here with the treat truck which obviously you can do in a gazillion different ways and I put little ice cream cones here as this peekaboo peach. And this uh, watercolor paper back here in the clouds I actually used um, this cheapy set that I've gotten, Artist Loft, and I wasn't sure what to think about it. You can see I've been using it. <laughs> I've been using it for actually quite a quite a lot of things, and um, and I kind of like it. it, it they're kind of weird in a sense that they're chalky, um, you know. So it's not your typical. Um, pan of, of watercolors, what have you, but um, it comes with, I haven't even taken this brush, it's really cheapy here, but um, it's it's only, it's less than $10, it's, um, it's got a great array of colors, and so if you're looking for something quick, a little watercolor set, this might be the one for you. Um, I've been doing a lot of um, stuff with that. So what I did was I took a white piece of paper and I um, uh, watercolor paper and I just did a whole bunch of different color families and then I used the die cuts from the um, Up and Away the balloon set that we have now new with Stampin' Up! and I cut out all these little watercolor balloons or balloons, uh, clouds and then I used the background that I made for that and I added um, this is with our watercolor pencils that we have and then I just added a, with a white gel pen the little polka dots to my truck so um, so I thought that was kind of fun to make some watercolor clouds so uh, we could do that card so let me know if you want to see a process video tutorial on one of those uh, I might do one anyway I don't know but if there's one particular one you'd like to see uh, give me a shout out in the comments below um, yeah, this is it's kind of a fun set. I think that, uh, you know, obviously it's not for professional watercolor. Um, it's the light fastness, who knows, you know, 
what it's going to be. But um, So I wouldn't go there for that. But if you're looking for something quick, um, maybe for your kids, maybe for you, you want to take it to a class or something and you don't really want to lose your best set of watercolors or whatever, I don't know, but whatever. But um, anyway, I've been having fun with it and I actually did it in some journaling. I've got this, let me set these aside. Um, I have this old, I have hundreds and hundreds of cookbooks because I've cooked over 3,000 different recipes. Uh, long story. But um, anyway, this one's kind of an outdated one and I love Alton Brown. Those of you who know who he is from the Food Network uh, love it because he's very scientific and I, it appeals to my academic brain. Um, but anyway, the, I've sort of grown out of this one. I kind of learned a lot of the things that are in here already. And I didn't want to just give it away. It's a little older, and I'm not sure that anyone, I would make any money off of it or anything. I could give it away, which is what I do sometimes. But um, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to make it a practice art journal. So it already has this great paper in here. Now it has glossy. It's already got some great pictures and things. And he, if you know who he is, he's kind of a quirky fella. But I went ahead and I made this art journal page on here. So and I, for these flowers and the color, not the background color, but the flowers in the corners here, I used this cheapy set of uh, watercolors. This Artist Loft, I guess I shouldn't keep calling it cheapy, this, whatever, <laughs> the Artist Loft colors there I used for those. So I thought it turned out nicely. They have nice bold colors. Um, uh, like I said, quite an array of neutral E and greens and blues and pinks and oranges and yellows. And, um, I like how it turned out. I used a magazine clip from one of my cooking magazines. It had it was an advertisement and I cut out the word inspired and I glued that on there. And uh, it already had the words, you know, the text on the background so you could see the roast. <laughs> Maybe you can't see it, but I can see it. Um, and then I used some uh, Stampers Anonymous um, stamps and some Finnebear background texture stamps like this um, cool bubble bubble wrappy one um, and then I just watered once that was dry I gessoed and then stamped some more and then that was dry I painted on the watercolor um, flowers here so I don't know it's kind of fun I, you have to go through a few pages and glue them together and then you can use the next one so I thought well it's a good use repurposing of this book so I'm looking forward to filling this book up with um, lots of those so if you're interested in uh, I don't know, getting ideas for that. We can, I probably will be doing some videos on that as I, um, get into some more art journaling. Um, anyway, this is kind of one of those rambling videos, but I thought I would let you know if you're looking for a cheap, cheaper watercolor set that to try the Artist Loft out that you might, might be a fun little play, play watercolor set that you'll really enjoy. And, um, yeah, and with our cards... Um, you know, if there's one that particular you want to see how I made that, of these shaker cards, um, you can go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below. So this is more of a vloggy, I don't know, talky <laughs> video, which is maybe not what you want to see, but I thought I'd uh, show you those. I particularly, this is probably my favorite one. Um, I don't know, just because of the creamsicle like colors about it. Um, and I like the whole, you know, die cutting out. And I love that die cut set. It's got great, I've got it over here. Several clouds, a heart, and some other parts here to make balloons and things. And um, yeah, lots of, lots of great stamp sets in the works. These t shirts are fun. And I just drew on that clothesline and then glued some little mini clothespins down and called it a day. But there's a fun background stamps behind there. Um, but anyway, uh, that's just what I've been doing over the new year here and uh, putzing around in my craft room. Um, I need to do some major organizing in here and it's it's just getting kind of crazy and <laughs> um, uh, need to, yeah do some things there. So anyway, um, go ahead and give a thumbs up if you like chatty videos. Maybe you don't. Sorry if you don't. I'm not normally a chatty chatty person. Um, but uh, some, sometimes it's just those days. It's very dreary outside right now and I thought I'd just show you what I, what I was up to. Uh, Alright guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are new here to make sure you're getting in on that 
uh, subscription there for uh, the giveaway that is coming soon. I thank you guys so much for your time. Have a great day.